you know, you cannot know <clears throat> your wholeness until you are ready, until you have the courage and the trust to feel your brokenness. You cannot know what is vulnerable to nothing. If you do not have the strength and the courage to feel the depths of vulnerability, you cannot know that the path is direct and straight and perfect unless you are willing to walk the winding path that seems to carry you away from yourself. The nature of egoic mind is that it is built on a thread the whole fortress is built upon a thread. And the thread is so fragile and vulnerable that the fortress must be maintained so that the meeting of the fragility of the ego does not occur. The process of surrender is the process of letting go of the armor, letting go of the conditioned armor that offers you an inroad into the nature of egoic conditioned mind. So long as one is acting out of the armor, it will remain unseen. The conditioning is to stay away, but the doorway is to go within. Not to go within as an avenue to protect, but simply to open, to open. to open to that which needs no protection. But in order to be ready to realize this, there must be the meeting of the conditioned habits of protection and the meeting of this fragile, egoic condition, the human condition not out of its armoring of separation, but receiving the grace of the teachings and opening, opening the door into that which has been shut. Being defenseless, being completely defenseless and feeling the root of the conditioning. You are all so beautiful. You are all such warriors of truth. It is the most beautiful thing but you can only fully know your nature when you receive the grace of all of the teachings that reveal that this ego is hanging on a thread, 
hanging on for its sanity based on a model of knowing something, of defining someone, and the possibility of letting that go reveals the fragility. But in the meeting of the fragility is the doorway into the heart of pure tenderness. You are loved so fully and the road at times is so challenging. And at the times of challenge, the habit is to put forth the armor but the doorway is in the trust when the armor is put down. When the armor is put down, you discover why the armor was created because initially there is this sense of absolute fragility, but it's in meeting the fragility that you discover the harmony. It's in meeting and receiving the conflict that you discover the unity. It's in receiving the grace in the moment without a roadmap that leaves the mind holding on to nothing. It's meeting in the love that supports and offers everything. It's receiving the wisdom that is inherent in every single phenomenal event. And then what happens as opposed to the ego being something that I want to conquer, contain, beat into submission, what occurs is there is a falling in love with the fragility, with the purity of your human self. A falling in love with the fragility of your human self. And it is this falling in love that melts the ego. For the ego seems to be you only because of the armor. And the armor is not a problem. There is no problem. There is the guidance in its perfect timing that is working everything, that reveals the brokenness of the conditioned mind in its complete fragility. And when this fragility is felt, there is the taste of pure love. And the taste of pure love is the healing, which becomes the unraveling, which becomes the doorway into discovering your nature. Looking for happiness is a conditioned habit of trying to get away from what the mind does not like, but receiving what the mind does not like. When it is received all the way, it becomes the doorway to reveal the fragility of the human condition. And then there is a falling in love 
with your human nature, a falling in love with the beauty of your human nature. And then your human nature is tasted in its essence as divine. tasted in essence as divine. And the divinity is in love with humanity. And where humanity and divinity meet is the heart. And the heart is one such that humanity and divinity are no longer tasted as two separate things, but a marriage, a marriage of purity. One has to be truly fearless to know fear. When you know fear, you know the building blocks of the conditioned mind. When you know the building blocks of the conditioned mind, you realize it is trying so hard working so hard. And there is this falling in love with all of the efforting. There is a falling in love with all that has been conditioned. There is a meeting of your divine nature meeting your human nature, which is what you came here to do. And then there is this tenderness, this unspeakable tenderness which can be felt because it is here. Why don't we sit silently for just a few minutes before answering questions? Mm 